a gigantic monument at the bottom of the Sea of Galilee, as well as several mysterious structures, including a gigantic stone wheel and a moon-shaped monument, were recently found in northern Israel. The mysterious structures have left bewildered archaeologists around the world. Who built them and what were they used for? They can be some of the most mysterious structures in Israel. They are easy to get lost from the road, but you can see them clearly from the sky or under the sea. The prehistoric stone monuments of Gilgal Rephaim, Jethro Cairn, and the circular structure found in the Sea of Galilee went unnoticed for centuries in the contested regions of the Golan and the Galilee, but archaeologists still do not know who built them or why. The theories have gone wild and include ancient calendars, ceremonial structures, or burial sites in the sky, in which corpses were placed on mounds of stone to be picked up by vultures. Eluding even more is that there is no archaeological evidence of a city close to them, and some have postulated, therefore, that the structures are, in fact, an enormous monument with symbolic meaning. The possible age of the structures is even more enigmatic and many place the estimate anywhere between 3,000 and 12,000 years old, making them older than the Pyramid of Giza and Stonehenge in Britain. The only thing we can say with certainty is that they are there and they are huge. In 2014 the Israeli archaeologist reported a crescent-shaped stone monument larger than a football field in northern Israel. With about 150 meters long and 7 meters high, the monument, called Jethro Cairn, can be seen in satellite images. The Bronze Age pottery carved into the monument indicates that it was built between 3050 and 2650 BC, but may be much older. The shape of the monument, a half moon, may have been chosen to symbolize the ancient Mesopotamian god of the moon Sin. The moon god Sin or Nama was the special guardian deity of the Chaldeans who lived in the ancient city of Ur. Once a worship center of the moon god, the most prominent feature of the site remains a temple tower, or ziggurat, about 200 feet long, 150 feet wide, and 69 feet high. Only a day's walk from the monument is the city of late Bronze Age called Bet Yura, which means House of the Moon God in Hebrew. Another 8 miles to the southeast of the monument, not far from where the monumental crescent was found, another enigmatic structure has eluded archaeologists since its discovery was announced in 2013. In 2003 below the Sea of Galilee in the mysterious structure with a diameter greater than the length of a Boeing 747, was discovered by divers. The massive structure was constructed of basaltic rocks, arranged in the shape of a cone. It measures 229 feet wide, and 32 feet of height and weighs about 60,000 tons. It's twice the size of the old stone circle in Stonehenge, England. Archaeologists think it was built on land and later submerged by the lake, but the exact age of the structure has been difficult to identify. However, one thing that archaeologists are sure of is that the monument was probably of great importance to the people who built it. The nearest basalt outcrop was a few hundred meters from the site, and the stones, which were 1 to 2 meters wide, would have weighed more than 2,000 pounds at times. The prehistoric monument known as Gilgal Rephaim was another Herculean task to build. His Hebrew name Gilgal Rephaim means will of giants and refers to an ancient race of giants, the Nephilim, a superhuman race mentioned in the Bible. The gigantic monument deserves its name since it consists of more than 42,000 basalt rocks arranged in five concentric circles that together weigh more than 40,000 tons. The complex has a burial chamber of 15 feet in the center of five circles, the largest of which is more than 500 feet wide. Standing on the ground inside the complex, it looks like a labyrinth of crumbling stone walls. Only from the air does the impressive shape of an eye emerge clearly. Some of the circles are complete and others are not, suggesting that they may have been arranged according to astronomical patterns. On the shortest and longest days of the year the solstices of June and December the dawn aligns with the openings in the rocks. It looks like a stone computer, to predict solar and lunar eclipses. But how could men wearing skins transport these massive stones and erect computers in stone? The possible purpose of these structures remains an enigma, but the monuments were obviously of great importance to the people who built them. It is unique to transport these stones and unique to organize them. It is necessary to plan and mobilize people, because they are too heavy to be carried by just one person. Not to mention that people were forced most of the year to agriculture. It is a significant task for a people who had to spend most of their time growing crops to survive when building such monuments. Only an advanced prehistoric society capable of organizing the construction of such large structures could have made these monumental works, but those who remained are still one of the greatest mysteries of our time. 
What is certain is that these people were building something that was much more durable than their huts made with weeds.